Hey everyone, Mr. Tass here with Mr. Tass 3D Print Shop. So the folks over at Prism XR had sent me two new items. One of them was a VR mat, which you saw the video for yesterday, a VR uh, play mat. Um, this one I'm really excited about. This is their Karina W1. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery pack, but the trick is it has a 30 watt max output. And as you saw in my video for batteries, you need at least 18 watt output to keep up with the Quest 3, but more the better. So I am very hopeful that this will be another potential solution um, and a different form factor. This is actually a belt or a shoulder strap that you can use for 10,000 milliamps at 30 watts. So let's just uh, kind of get into it. Again, longer it says, you can see here, first dual worn design, stay cool, move free, 10,000 milliamp broad compatibility and the 30 watt, um, which is going to be key and critical to keeping up with our charging needs. And so I'm looking forward to doing another marathon video. Um, but here on the back, you can see the Karina empowering your virtual journey. Um, this is all from their constellation series of accessories that they came out with this. They're kind of first run accessories. Um, I am sure they're going to have more accessories as time goes on. But their brown box, and inside, I've got the black one. This comes in white and black, so you'll have an option. Got some heft to it because it is 10,000 milliamps. There's a 5,000 pack here and a 5,000 pack here. And then a nice little power button. Looks like it's coming at 50% charge. And that does have a little bit of flex to it, but obviously not a, a hard bend. And so you can see the belt things here. And here on the bottom, Prism XR, Karina W1, input 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 2 amp, 12 volt 1.5 amp, the output 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 3 amp, and 12 volt 2.5 amp, which gives you the 30 watt max. So that's the pack itself. You also get their little welcome and thank you card. PrismXR.com is the website and a little quick start guide how do you attach the battery and how to use the battery and then here is the band and so this comes in two sizes there's a small and a standard standard being the larger size um, i have a standard here for dimensions and we'll look on their website to um, see what those dimensions are but the battery the clip there looks nice we got our other clip here Oop, goes over band nice logo nice feel and uh pressed plastic here and the band does have let's see you can see here over here is the stretch portion so that's nice so it'll adjust this portion here does not stretch but here on the ends it does stretch and you also get a little uh, looks like a cable clip probably for the headset and you get a USB C to C cable 90 degree bend and straight and a little velcro strip with that and that is all nothing else in the box so we're gonna set that aside and so as I said this is a 10,000 milliamp battery pack that you can use and we're just going to install it right into here I'm hoping I'm installing that correctly. So you can adjust all the way out to there. Do you like it should go like that and like that? And so there we go. So now let's turn this up here so you can see. So you could wear this. On the front okay that stacks together nice and so once it's on you could adjust it to kind of get a good feel for where it'll fit don't mind the belly but they generally say to wear it along the back here and so it's out of the way and you can again tighten up the other side here There we go. So tighten it till it's comfortable and just kind of sits. 
And so now you can play, you run the cord up the back to your headset, um, but you can't see where your charge is that way, but you could just flip it around and take a look and see where the charge is this way. The other way to wear it is you can wear it like a band, I think it's a bandolier, where it goes around your shoulders. So if I loosen this out again, and I'm going to just clip it. And so the clip's nice. It's actually magnetic here. You can kind of feel it pull. So that's nice, that's magnetic. Makes it quick and easy. So we connect that. And then you could wear it like this, kind of like Chewbacca. Um, if you would want to wear it this way so you can kind of see it better or even let it hang around on the back side here. Uh -oh. Sorry about the mic. So you have some flexibility and options with this, but the main key is you don't have any weight up with the headset itself. I'll go back to the product here. So definitely something to check out. Um, I am going to do another video. So as you saw in my one video, I tested out the Quest 3 as it was. I tested out Quest 3 with the Bobo battery and the Quest 3 with the Zyber battery, which is a 20 watt output. And the Zyber was the only one that was able to keep the Quest charged or at least ab above charge before it ran out of juice. With the Prism being 30 watts, I expect it will be able to do the same or better at keeping the Quest 3 charged. Now, it doesn't have any hot swappable feature to it, but that's fine. You could always have one or two of these and just swap them out as needed. Um, but I'm expecting it to keep the Quest 3 charged. So I'm going to do a video just like I did before to be able to compare that and see if that is the case. So look for that video coming up. But in the meantime, if you are looking for a battery solution for the Quest 3, the prismxr.com, this is Karina W1, and currently it's $59.99. You can also find it out on Amazon. It does come in white and black, and there's a small and a standard size that you can check out. And if we go here, you can see um, the large size 38 to 50 inches, the small size is 30 to 38 inches. So get what works best for you. Um, and you can see the video that's playing off to the right, which is from theirs. Um, and right there you can see 18 watt max input, 30 watt max output. So that's what I've got. Check them out. They've got a lot of cool items. Um, their Vega T1 earbuds are great if you like um, low latency earbud um, to increase your immersion. Um, and until I can get to the battery test video, I will check you again. And also look, I'll have uh, the wire Wi-Fi direct router video coming out too. Thanks.